In this video, we're going to combine the ideas of nested resources or includes with collections and filters on collections. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a list of entities, uh, that's uh, the collection part, but filtered by properties that don't live in the entities that we're going to return, but on entities that are related to the entities that we are going to return. A good example for that is uh, how we can try to get a list of all the articles for a given user. Uh, and imagine that we have this, and I'm going to delete all this, so I get a list of articles. Uh, all, the, all these articles are for any user, so uh, this, uh, this is not what we want. Um, what we would like is something like... Um, something like filter and then um, our author and this is a condition so this can be whatever uh, this is only used uh, as an ID for the condition um, condition and the path is we're gonna, we want to filter on the author name. So what we're going to do is uh, we know that starting from the article, we get to the author using UID, and then we're going to filter by the name. So the path is going to be UID.name. And then the value is going to be the name of the, uh, of the author, which in this case, uh, we are going to use this generated author. So uh, by doing this, uh, we are taking advantage of the collection, see how we are not passing an, an ID, and then we're filtering on a property of the author, which is the name. So if we make that request, uh, you'll see that it's loading, and it's going to return back with a bunch of articles. Uh, and what all these artic uh, articles have in common is that here, the relationship, you will see that the author is always ending in 670A5. If I go here and open one randomly and scroll down to relationships, UID 670A5. So uh, you can see how it uh, relates to all the uh, to to all the articles by that author, um, and of course you can do the same that you have been doing, like fields on the node article, or maybe just the title, and the author and fields in the user, user, just the name, and uh, I want to include the author. So I'm going to include the author for all the articles, which is going to only include one author, because all these are the same author. So making that request, it's going to come back and in the includes you see that there is only one author and that author only has the attribute name which is the name that we wanted and we have a bunch of articles three four five six seven eight nine ten oh it seems that uh we generated a bunch of them like ten 10 articles for that author. And that's how you get a list of all of the articles. And each article only contains the title and the UID, the, the, uh, the author relationship. So uh, yeah, uh, from here, you would want to, you could want to uh, include UID user picture. And you would get the the picture for the for the author, and continue on until 
until you get all of the, um, oh, for that, sorry. For that, we need to include the, or to list in the fields, the user picture. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, from there, you can see how you need to specify the, um, uh, so this is the, the picture. Uh, you, you need to specify your data needs in the form of filters, sparse field sets, and includes, and uh, get everything that you need in your presentation as expressed as uh, data dependencies in the in the URL in the query that you make to the JSON API backend interval.